Whoa. Oh, what? Hey fellow Force users, what is up? It's Jasmine, the Ahsoka Tano fan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so I just finished watching The Village Bride, which was the previous episode. And as I was mentioning in the other video, it was a pretty decent episode. Initially, I kind of found myself waiting for something to happen, but that whole ending sequence there, where the bride was about to be taken um, captive, and then um, her sister was about to be executed for rebelling against the warlord. And then the Jedi swoops in and then basically kills the guy. Not basically, she killed him, pretty obviously. That whole sequence was really well done and a nice wrap up to the story. And it just shows how powerful Jedi can be. As I mentioned in the last video, spoiler again if you have not watched Rebels, but that fight definitely reminded me of the Obi-Wan versus Maul fight. It was just so quick, right? Um, so yeah, very well done. Um, that was one of the stronger ones, I think. This one looks like it's called the Ninth Jedi. The daughter of a lightsaber smith is pursued by dark forces while on a dangerous mission. That looks like it's going to be another strong one. I also noticed it's a little bit longer than the other one. It's 22 minutes, which is actually around the same length of time as the Clone Wars episode. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the other ones. I also am pretty sure on social media, I've seen people mention this one as being one of the better ones. So we'll see. Um, I don't doubt that just from the synopsis. Let's not waste any time. Let's dive in, you know the drill, and get this video rolling. Hmm, it's called the Ninth Jedi. I'm kind of wondering what that means. Like, who are the other eight? Like, the Ninth Jedi of what, you know? Drew? Kyber crystals again. <laughs> of course, they always need more said, right? Huh, this is the first episode where they've had that narration. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of a Clone Wars intro, right guys? With Tom Kane narrating you know, the beginning, at the beginning. So he's starting his own, I guess, Jedi Academy, sort of like like what um, Luke tried to do. Oh, we're upside down here, okay. This animation looks so different, almost kind of 3D-ish. At least that first part did. Who's this? Step forward a little more, oh, there we go. <laughs> so I can see your face. So is that a master and apprentice right there? Maybe not. Oh. Uh oh, if you've seen Invincible guys, you know why I'm worried right now. <laughs> Did someone lure them there as a, in a trap? Oh, okay, maybe not. I like to that. He talks like a villain, I'm sorry. Join me and restore peace. Villains always say that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I don't know. His words, and you, you see that mask he's wearing? He could be like Sidious, playing both sides. Funding the effort to restore the Jedi and hunt them down. Is it a droid? How can you sense anything as a droid? Seven. Okay, so that's what they mean. So someone's going to be the ninth Jedi. That's the name of the episode, right? Oh, they're trying to... Those are the machines that grab the um, kyber crystals, right? It's like taking fishing to a whole nother level. So she must be the ninth Jedi, maybe? But then who's the eighth? Is he the eighth? Definitely giving me Tatooine vibes. <laughs> Whoa. That's a weird looking lightsaber. 
Green? Like, but like dark green? Change the light. Have we ever seen that before, guys? Whoa, I'm taking it to a new level. That's true. Is that a thing where your lightsaber color depends on your connection to the Force? And since the series is not canon, is that idea canon then? Because I've never heard that before. Well, I bet you it's that guy, Juro. Hmm, they look like maybe they're there for the lightsabers. Oh, this means he's gonna die. <laughs> because it is. <laughs> see those men outside, girl? It's gonna be the last time you see each other. So I guess she took the back door so she wouldn't be spotted. Oh! Did he die in that last? It's hard to tell. No, damn. Did they kill him or they're just taking them? I think they're just taking him. Okay, this is the best episode by far. No, he's gathering them there to kill them all, I think. Hmm. This must be like hundreds of years into the future then. Oh. And it's glowing blue, so that means he has a strong connection, I guess. This animation looks really good, actually. Kind of looks like a, a movie, like a live action movie. Mm -mm. Driving backwards? Or is the droid driving? <laughs> Takes driving distracted? To another level. Mm -mm. He's gonna fall into the ice, maybe? Smooth. Maybe not. I thought he was gonna fall. Oh, he doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> My god, at that rate, they're gonna catch up to her. Oh, shit. This reminds me of um, the Clone Wars lightsaber loss episode. Remember when Ahsoka was with uh, Tara Sanube? And he was moving so slow. I guess she doesn't like flying. Oh! Why are they all red? <laughs> They're all in on it? That droid's bad, isn't he? <gasps> That's the guy! It, he was there all along. Wait, so Juro's good and these guys are bad? Now it's changed to green. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, that was so violent! Whoa! Those were a couple twists I did not see coming. So he's the only good guy there. Him and the girl gotta go against everybody else. Him and Kara. Oh my gosh. So the Mus Musgrave guy is the good guy? Oh, shh. I don't know why this reminds me of Invincible. <laughs> If you guys have seen Invincible, I think you know the scene I'm talking about. Oh, this is lightsaber is turning green. Oh, force lightning? Oh, what's he look like? So are those guys not really Jedi or are they Jedi that don't want a restoration of the Jedi? Whoa. Oh, what? Did he just burn up? Oh, this thing's purple now. Is it turning good? Yeah, he's turning good, I think. Mm, that's why he did it. Oh, she is the ninth Jedi. Okay. Okay, so now the only thing left in the story is they have to rescue the father. Oh my gosh, that looks like a lightsaber there. They are going to rescue him, right? Don't tell me they're going to end it off. Yeah, that definitely looks like a lightsaber on purpose. They did that. What? They're not going to... That's the end, is it? That was a very solid episode. I think the only thing that would have made it perfect is they could, if they could have somehow gotten the father back at the end there but nonetheless that was a really good episode i'm pretty sure this is the one now that i heard people talking about and saying that it was the best one in the series just from start to finish it definitely had my interest and there was a lot of twists in there um that was really good that was kind of up there with an episode we'd see from the clone wars even um, i really like this idea of re-establishing the jedi order which is kind of what luke tried to do you could say um, in the sequel trilogy or before the sequel trilogy sorry but i've always liked that idea because one thing i love about the prequels compared to the original trilogy is how many Jedi there were. When you have more Jedi, you also inevitably get more Sith, which this episode kind of showed us. 
and then you get not only an overall good storyline with more villains versus you know heroes but you know you get epic lightsaber duels right that's why a lot of people like the the star wars old republic era when you look at the game like um characters such as satil and her master going up against all these sith lords like that is so epic if something like this happened and were canon they could just reboot the franchise almost hundreds of years after the sequel trilogy and they can just start star wars again and have jedi and sith right so I really like that whole theme. The idea that the lightsaber color and brightness resembles your strength and connection with the force is such an interesting concept. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I guess that kind of always has been the case because we've always known that red is associated with, with bad, right? And even in the Ahsoka novel, they talked about this with the kyber crystals when the blade is red. It's because you're using like you know the dark side of the force and it's causing the blade to come out red and then ahsoka if you guys have read the book is able to actually take an inquisitor's lightsaber minor spoiler alert <laughs> takes the lightsaber takes the kyber crystal ends up being able to purify it and then the blades come out white and so i, I guess what they're saying actually does have merit to it but i kind of wonder what the different light side colors mean is there a difference between green versus blue versus yellow versus purple like Mace Windu's lightsaber. I'm just kind of fascinated with that whole concept. That was really cool that they explored that in this episode. The twist there, we never saw it coming. We kind of suspected the the Musgrave, I think his title was. Um, we suspected him of being potentially untrustworthy at the beginning. We kind of thought that he would go against these Jedi at the end. But I never thought that he was actually good and they were going to be bad and that's how they were going to go against each other. So that was like a double twist in one. I was a little suspicious of the droid. I remember my reaction saying, well, if you're a droid, how can you sense something? And now we know why, because he wasn't really a droid. He was the Musgrave in hiding, right? So that was like a really clever twist there. I like the idea of Kara. Kara kind of reminds me of an Ahsoka type character, a young girl who's very strong in the force and kind of trying to, you know, find her way and prove herself. Um, and that has a lot of potential and it looks like at the end there they're implying that she's going to be a part of the new Jedi Order. But then of course you can never have Jedi without Sith and this episode shows us that. At the same time the Sith are also on the rise just as you're trying to build out the Jedi. And that goes back to something the Sun said in the Clone Wars Season 3. I believe he's saying to Anakin something about Jedi or Sith um, as if there is one without the other. I will never join the dark side willingly. Light and dark as if there is one without the other. And that, I guess, is truly what it means to have a balanced force, right? When you have a balance of light and dark. Yeah, overall, this was a really well done episode, actually. Definitely my favorite so far, definitely the, strong, the strongest. The only gripe I have with the episode was I wish they could have somehow shown them getting the father out of you know captivity at the end there maybe we're led to believe that that's where they're going to go next to find him rescue him and then start the new jedi order i really hope that they the star wars um writers are paying attention to this episode and can actually give us content like this going forward because star wars is such a vast franchise the skywalker era was obviously the best era but they can definitely move beyond that now they could give us the Old Republic era or they could give us the New Republic era, go hundreds of years into the future and show us what it would look like with a new Jedi Order and new Sith. That's a really good template for another, you know, six Star Wars movies. So you guys let me know what you thought of this episode down below in the comments. I have a feeling you probably liked it as much as I did. And as always guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching as always. I will see you soon for the next episode of Star Wars Visions. Until next time guys, take care. See you soon.